Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm be uh, painting my denim jacket. So I got this jacket from my friend uh, for twenty dollars. It's from Forever Twenty One. And the first thing that I did is I just did a brief sketch of what I wanted the painting to look like, and I painted it white so that it would be easier to uh, layer the acrylics. And I am using a textile medium mixed with the acrylic so that you can wash the jacket and that uh, it won't be as stiff as painting it with acrylic only. So if you guys want to paint your jacket, I recommend that you mix it with a textile medium so you don't have to buy a fabric paint. So what I'm basically doing is I'm basically just painting the, the skin now. I usually like to paint acrylic really dry. For me it's easier to blend when it's dry and it's easier for me to make the, uh, make it look like uh, 3D in a way when it's dry. But the textile medium makes the acrylic really wet and I was kind of having trouble because it's not what I was it's not really what I'm used to when painting a acrylic so it took quite a lot of time trying to like uh, blend everything out this is also the first time that I'm actually painting right on the jacket because what I usually do and what I did in the past is I would paint on a canvas and sew in the can sew in the canvas into the jacket and that's kind of like difficult because uh, the canvas is really stiff and sometimes it gives the jacket inflexibility. I don't even know if that's the word. It's just not flexible. So yeah, it's my first time buying a textile medium and I'm kind of glad that I did because now I can finally paint right on top of the jacket. So as you can tell, it's been like skipping a lot because I, I would forget to press the record button. You, you could tell that I did not show how I painted the white area and how I end up uh, painting the lips. And sorry for that. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just adding some more details. And I don't want this painting to be like overly detailed. If you can tell by my art pieces, my art pieces are not really that detailed because I actually like the how it looks when it's not it looks like you just like threw together some paint and not think about it. I like how it, it feels to me it feels more authentic than having like a really really refined refined detailed uh, art. I know like a lot of uh, artists like to refine their uh, painting but yeah everyone has their own way of what they want to do so this was kind of difficult because like this black was really really dry for some reason and it was like so hard to work with okay here's the thing so I've been wanting to sell or I've been thinking of selling my uh my hand painted jackets or any any clothes but I, I, don't, I don't know if people would actually buy them because like when I always doubt myself right and every time I go out when I'm wearing this kind of clothes people would actually ask me like where did I get them uh, where do I buy them and then when I tell them that oh I painted them and they would just ask do you have like an online shop or something and then I was like uh, not really I wish and yeah so like for me my mind says that you should do it but my mind also says that nobody's really gonna buy it but then people some people actually like them and then want to like purchase them so yeah like it it took me quite a long time to like decide whether i want to sell them and i finally made the decision that i'm actually gonna start selling them now uh, i just need more time to prepare and kind of difficult because like a lot of people I know some artists who would do uh, embroider on like some vintage uh, uh, vintage windbreakers 
and they would sell it for seven hundred dollars and that's just a small embroidery on like the logo anyway so i was just planning on growing her but then i wanted to put more flowers and i decided to make the flowers yellow because who doesn't like yellow and it kind of got like a really a little bit messy here and like this black is really really hard to work with again and i i like this go a lot i use it for a lot of my custom clothes new phone who this it's just like a, it's like a mockery of something it seems so so it didn't catch a lot of uh the rest but i added a lot more i add more sleeves and the color i painted some leaves as well so this is basically how everything turned out this is the back and i really love how this turned out i just wish i would have added more onto her body and not make her look like a chibi kind of way and the new phone who this i really love this quote i'm thinking of making it like a phrase for like all of my clothes that i'm gonna paint and this is the front as you can tell like i painted the color and i said i put another quote don't call me and i feel like for the sleeves i feel like i went too high i feel like i should have just like uh kept it a little bit low so yeah so this is basically how everything turned out I hope you guys enjoyed this process video this is not really a tutorial if you are or you want to paint your denim jacket you basically just need a acrylic textile medium or if you have a fabric paint already and a denim jacket and the last thing you need to do is like let it dry for 24 hours and set it with hot iron and after uh you can wash this after a few days this is washable because of the textile medium and yeah thank you all for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed this and see you till next time bye